One of the most important soccer skills you can learn to develop is your ability to overcome periods of bad form. And what I mean by that is during your career, there will be times when you're not playing as good as you should be, or you're not playing as good as you know you can. Okay, so your ability to overcome those periods of bad form will determine how much long-term success you have in this game. And I heard, I don't think it was a, a quote, but it was an analyst or a former pro, he was saying that what determines a great player is not what he does when times are good. It's not what he does when his team is winning and he's playing his best. What determines his greatness is what he does when times are tough, times are bad. He's not playing well, maybe he's not getting any playing time, his team is losing games, he's not scoring goals, he's not making an impact on the game. Okay, what does he do during those times? How does he overcome those hard times? His ability to overcome those hard times and get back to the good times is what will make him great. And that's what will make you great if you can learn to develop the skill and learn to develop an attitude that will help you get through these hard times. Because believe me, they are coming. You're not always gonna play at your best. And I should start by saying that recently I hit a bad, uh, hit a little bad patch, a rough patch of form. And that's kind of my idea for doing this video because this really is so important. If you hit a bad patch of form and you let that consume you, you're just gonna just spiral downwards and become worse and worse until you're so frustrated with this game that you never wanna play again. Okay, so you can have that attitude or you can have the attitude of, okay, I'm not playing at my best right now, but I'm gonna figure this out and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get back to where I once was or even better to get to my best that I've ever been. So like I was saying, I hit a bad patch of form and these days, last couple years, I've been in pretty good form for the level I'm playing at. I mean, I score pretty much every time I'm on the pitch, don't lose the ball very often, have a good impact on the game and I'm not being cocky, I'm just being honest with you guys, just being honest with myself. But I did hit a patch there where I wasn't scoring and I was losing the ball way too often. I wasn't doing the things that I was normally doing. I was playing with kind of hesitancy and I wasn't doing what I knew I could do or what I should be doing. Okay, so for me, it only lasted a couple games because I'm on top of it. I got that mental thing figured out and I realized, okay, well, just look back to what I was doing and get back to that. Okay, so in order for you to overcome the form you're in right now, maybe you're in bad form right now, just think back to a time when you were playing well, you were scoring goals, you were doing all the right things on the field. You had the right attitude, the right commitment, the right desire, the right hunger, the right style of play. Okay, what were you doing differently compared to now? Okay, and maybe it comes down to you were practicing your finishing and now you haven't been practicing your finishing for a week, okay? No brainer, but unless you step out of yourself and analyze what you're doing on the field, off the field, and compare it to those good forms, those times of good form, compare it to the times of bad form, you'll never be able to figure it out, okay? So analyze what you were doing in the good times and ask yourself, am I doing everything the same or am I doing things differently? Do I have bad habits that I'm doing on the field right now? Am I turning into trouble or am I playing a pass there? Am I taking too many touches here? Am I not shooting when I used to be shooting in this situation? Am I doing things differently in this situation when I used to do that? Okay, you need to step outside of yourself and you need to analyze your game because no one else is going to do it for you. Now, if you're having certain problems, let's say like you're feeling really slow, well, let's start doing some sprints in our own time. Let's start building stronger legs, working on the gym. Let's start working on becoming faster. Maybe that will make the difference that you want. Maybe your finishing isn't up to par. So like I said, do those finishing drills. Maybe 15 minutes of finishing drills every day or after every practice will go a long way in getting your confidence back in front of goal. Maybe it's other things like you're defending or you're tackling or you're positioning on the field, okay? You're getting lost on the field. Well, you need to figure it out for yourself because like I said, no one else is gonna do this for you. Yeah, they'll want you to get better, but they're not gonna put in the work for you. You need to put in the work for yourself, okay? But, Overall, you need to have the attitude like, hey, I can do this. 
I've played great before. There's no reason I can play great again. And I think for a lot of us, we hit this patch of bad form and then we're like, oh, what's happening? What if I can never get back to the player that I used to be, okay? Do not think that way because believe me, if you've done it before, you can do it again. It's just about doing what you did in the past or trying new things in order to get even better than you were in the past. But if you do something about it, you will get the results that you want. And just look at every new practice or every new game as an opportunity to get back on track. Okay, for me, this recent patch of bad form I hit, it was only like two games that I didn't score. But for me, it was like, come on, I need to get back to what I was doing. I need to get back on track right away. And if you have that attitude like, hey, I came off track, and right away you're like, okay, this is not good. I need to get back on track. I need to get back to my best. And you look at it with that attitude, like you're analyzing your game. What do I need to change? What do I need to do differently? And you have the attitude of the, like, okay, I can get back. I will get back. And it's only a matter of time. Okay. So again, like all these videos I talk about, it starts with your attitude. If you have the attitude that, Hey, I'm in a bad form right now, but I'm going to do whatever it takes to get back. You're going to be fine. And then just look at what you're doing in the past compared to what you're doing right now. Maybe you're training differently. Maybe you'd had different habits on the field or did different things in different situations. Maybe your attitude, your mindset during the game was different. Okay, but you need to look at yourself. You need to analyze and you need to change it in order to get back to the best form of your life. All right, guys, I hope this video helped you. If you have anyone else you know is going through bad form, please share this video with them. It will help them get out of that funk as well. Please give me a like, please comment below. And please come back tomorrow for a new video. And thank you for watching this video on soccer skills and overcoming bad form.